If you like to see how I made this custom oversized shoe box, please stay tuned. I started by getting my wood cut to size at my local hardware store. I then sanded it down until it was nice and smooth and started the construction of my box. I began my construction by creating a L-shaped formation and then adding on my sides. Once my sides were added on, I tested out my lid to make sure it would go over the entire box. Once I tested that out, I added on the lips of the lid and screwed everything in using only one and a half inch screws. Once the lid was fully constructed, I tested it out one more time on top of the entire box to check the function of it. As you can see here, it's really starting to look like a shoe box. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try to open it to make sure it's not too hard to open. And it lifts off of the other box just fine so I'm safe to proceed with the rest of my design. At this point in time, I start the construction of my shelf as well as my drawer that will be inside of the box. Measurements listed below. After I finished cutting my shelf and my drawer to size, I went ahead and painted them both this beautiful red paint that I got from Lowe's. It took quite a few coats to make them look nice and smooth but after I finished, I followed up with a glossy finish spray paint that I got from Lowe's as well. This gave it a nice shine, which is what my client was asking for. I also put on a veneer edging to make the edges really nice and smooth versus this rough edging that's usually there. And after I finished painting everything, I let him dry for quite a while. As you can see here, I'm just doing one more walkthrough to make sure that they're looking as nice as I want them to, and they are, and I'm very satisfied. The shoe box that my client was requesting is this one here. It's a Christian Louboutin shoe box, so I wanted to have an exact design. So I chose a paint at my local craft store that was the most similar, and I started to paint the box. At this point in time, I'm just doing all the necessary coats in order to make it look as smooth and neat. Here is a comparison of the regular sanded wood in comparison to the new tan paint that I'm putting on. And once it dried, it looks beautiful. It's a matte finish paint and I slid the drawer in and it's all coming together. And here is the shoe box lid when it's fully painted as well. I then started the design of my customer shoe tag for the box. I found this online and then I customized it to fit my needs, putting in my client's favorite shoe type from the shoe brand Christian Louboutin, as well as making sure that it said her actual shoe size. I then tested it out against my box. I used a cardstock paper to print this and I attached it using a glue gun. In order to do the decals, I used my Cricut Explore Air 2 and some white vinyl paper as well as some transfer paper. Once I printed everything out, I just used my scraper that came with my device and I just put it on the box for both the sides and the lid. It was very meticulous, but once I peeled off that transfer paper, it was amazing. So after I finished that, I went ahead and put everything on and it's really starting to look just like the shoe box that my client requested. I 
I then went ahead and added on the hinges and the hydraulics to my box in order to have it have some lid support and it was fully constructed at this point in time. It was quite difficult um, but once I had everything in it really did look amazing and you can see that glossiness from that spray paint that I put on there. And here's the shoe box fully completed with the shoe tag on as well as all the decals and the hinges and just everything that ties it all together. It was the perfect addition to her closet room that she had in her home and I'm so excited that she gave me the opportunity to design it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.